My name is uh, Dr. Peter Froze. A little bit about me. Um, I've been around education for over three decades. Uh, the, my, I began my education in public education in the province of British Columbia, Canada, and um, then continued my education in independent schools in the same province in British Columbia. And more recently, I have been spending the last um, two years in offshore schools here in China with Maple Leaf. The, I have a bit of education under my belt. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, have a, a bachelor's, a master's, and a doctorate degree, which I obtained in educational leadership and policy from uh, University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. And as I pointed out, um, the, for the last two years, I've been the superintendent of schools for uh, Maple Leaf. Maple Leaf, I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, our own um, system, Maple Leaf Schools, was the very first school that was approved in the country of China to uh, be able to provide an international uh, 10 through 12 graduation program in China. And that school happened to uh, begin uh, right here in Dalian with a colossal, a colossal 14 students. Um, we had very um, uh, meager beginnings to our school in 1995. And since that time, our, the school system has grown to um, the uh, 15, 16 schools that we now have. And that has, take, that has grown over a 25 year period. This, this current year on the 28th of May, we celebrated our 25th anniversary. But we have been offering the British Columbia curriculum for the past 25 years, and that has served us well. One of the things that <clears throat> we, have <clears throat> we have noticed is that as um, provinces, in this case, British Columbia, adapt and improve their curriculum, um, some of their curriculum tends to focus more on the province of British Columbia. And so that becomes a challenge for uh, offshore schools like ourselves, who are looking for something that is more relevant to um, Chinese students in this way. And uh, that is why for next year, Maple Leaf will be beginning a new world school curriculum that continues with our vision that we've had for 25 years, that is blending the best of the uh, curriculum assessment and pedagogical practices of the West and the East so that our students get a good grasp of Western education and Eastern educational practices as well. That won't change under the new curriculum. I'll speak more about that a little bit later. Um, the, we've had a challenge these last, uh, this last semester, and the challenge relates to um, the global pandemic that has been taking place around the world. Um, since February, well, it's actually a bit earlier than that, when um, the, the coronavirus was discovered, um, we, uh, we, it has resulted in uh, a lot of challenges for China, and they have worked hard to get control of the virus, and they have. I would argue that China is one of the safest countries in the world to be right now because there are very few new cases of the coronavirus. Um, and yet it's, it's uh, plaguing many of the countries around the world, including my own country, Canada. Um, in the United States is dealing with challenges, Brazil, Russia, uh, Europe. Um, but what that's created is a new way to do education for offshore schools and domestic schools as well. And so we have uh, implemented a, an online learning system uh, from a program called Canvas, a learning management system, where our teachers are um, using their classrooms um, to teach their stu the students no matter where they are. Um, we have, uh, at that time, our Chinese students were in their homes. Our teachers were located all over the world. And um, they were developing learning resources that they are sharing with one another. So uh, the opportunity uh, and the challenges of um, this past semester with the coronavirus has actually provided a rich collection of learning resources for our teachers because they've been able to develop that and collect those resources and share those with colleagues. So it's a, uh, out of um, a challenging situation, there have been some real benefits for us as well.